Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I am back today with a Friday favorite part two of the foods from the Dollar Tree. I, I love the foods at the Dollar Tree. It's amazing. The things that you can buy there, if you look back in my videos, I had did a comparison video of things from the Dollar Tree, things from Walmart, and Dollar Tree actually beat out Walmart in prices. So it's hit or miss. You know, you may spend two cents more at the Dollar Tree, but for me, it's worth it instead of running the whole way across town to Walmart. Why not? But the majority of things was less at the Dollar Tree. So I think it's a great deal. And you guys see from Hubby's Saturday snack series that he he's doing, you can make amazing dishes with completely every item from the Dollar Tree. It's amazing. So I'm just going to start with their soups. I know I have more soups here. I didn't organize this desk very well. You can find just about any soup imaginable at the Dollar Tree. And a lot of the times, they're name brand. This is the Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup. The regular size can that you would find at the grocery store. It is 10 and a half ounce can. Cream of mushroom soup. They also have cream of chicken, but I didn't grab it to bring it up for you. You can find anything. Right now, they have the Collagen brand. And this is the 100% natural with chicken broth. This is the um, chicken noodle soup. You know what? This is, is this chicken noodle soup? This is just broth. They just have a picture of the chicken noodle soup. I apologize for that, but this is just the broth. So you can make your own chicken noodle soup with the collagen broth, but their broths are amazing. I, we buy the big boxes of them. I couldn't pass up the deal on the collagen. That's a name brand. So I'm sorry, I thought that was a can of chicken noodle soup. My fault. Right now they have this brand. It's the Tasty Kitchen Tomato. And this is the condensed. It's a 10.7 ounce. You see tomato soup in there all the time. We love tomato soup. On a cold winter winter afternoon, make some tomato soup, a grilled cheese sandwich, absolutely delicious. So we picked up a few of these whenever we bought them. But the soups there are just amazing for a dollar. This is one of my favorite food items at the Dollar Tree. It is the Pampa brand, the mushroom pieces and stems, and it is a 10 ounce jar, but dry weight. So just the mushrooms is 5.3 ounce. These are delicious. They are, to me, they're better than name brand. You get nice big pieces of the mushrooms in there. Me and hubby both love mushrooms. We put mushrooms in everything. And it's so good and I think it's a great deal so and there's a little bit of dust on it from being on my shelf we love mushrooms I always have several jars of these on hand they're so good let me see which way do I go they're pizza pizza shells this is the it says golden home brand and it is the ultra thin pizza crust bakes ultra crispy and it is a 4.75 ounce. This is the large one and you only get one. They also have a pack of smaller ones. I would call them like personal pan size. And I believe it's a two pack, but they didn't have any at my store when we went shopping the last time. We like these for a quick little pizza. They're amazing. I love the flavor of them. I actually love a thin crust better than a thick crust. So these work great for me. You know, quick little lunch, make yourself one of the smaller ones, it's delicious. And another thing I forgot to grab was their pizza sauce. It is so good. So, I mean, a dollar for the, the crust, a dollar for the, the nice sized jar of the pizza sauce, which you could make several pizzas out of. You can throw together a quick little pizza, you know, for a fraction of the cost of going out and ordering a pizza or bringing a pizza home or whatever fraction of the cost. They're delicious. Have you, any of you tried these? What do you guys think of them? Because we love them. I'm going to put that on the floor. They're bagged dried beans, rice, that type of thing. 
they have so many different types of dried beans there. These are the great northern beans. You probably saw in one of Hubby's, the Saturday snacks, he used these to make soup out of. They have the, the um, red kidney beans, all different kinds. They have the lentils. They have split pea. They have anything that you can imagine. And what I do with these is I dump them into mason jars. And if there's any directions on the bags, I save those as well. But I put them in mason jars. These last forever. And they make such great soup. Now with the holidays coming, if you make turkey, ham, you can make a quick, easy, healthy, delicious soup by just having this type of thing on your shelf. And they're rice. You can't beat this. A dollar for this big bag of the Pampa brand long grain white rice. This is a two pound bag of rice for a dollar. It's amazing. And they also have brown rice as well, long grain brown rice. So keep an eye out for this kind of stuff. And the rice works great for making your gnomes too. If anybody makes gnomes, I went through so many bags of rice making homemade handmade gnomes but now it is stocked up everywhere people must not be making gnomes quite as much as they did last year and the year before let's see where can I put these to get it out of the way I hope I don't rip these bags by doing that they're pastas this is the Columbia brand it is on their shelves all the time this is an empty box that I saved both were 25% more the bonus size boxes the Columbia brand pasta is amazing. This was the elbow macaroni that hubby used and delicious. This is the Columbia brand and this Columbia brand. I meant to say this is the ro rotini that the elbow macaroni was a 20 ounce box and that was 25% more. It says made with 100% durum wheat and the rotini also made with 100% durum wheat and it too is a 20 ounce box. I think that is a great deal. They have lasagna noodles. They have spaghetti noodles. Any type of pasta you could want, they have at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a box. Also, they're egg noodles. I used to be, that is very crinkly, and I am sorry, guys. I'm going to try not to move it too much. I used to be a noodle snob. It had to be name brand, but since I started using these, I love them. They work well for me. I'm going to try not to move it too much. This is also the Columbia brand egg noodles. And it is a 12 ounce package. And these are the wide noodles. These are good. They work great. So we buy them all the time. There are different sauces and things. I, I guess that's what I'm going to call it. This Rotel, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And it's the original, the diced tomatoes with green chilies. And it is a 10 ounce can. We use this a lot. It works great. It's Rotel. It's a name brand. It's amazing how many name brand products I have on my desk right now. It's awesome. You can do so many things with Rotel. One of the things I like to do is um, I fry pork chops, fry it in a little bit of butter, maybe put some salt and pepper, garlic powder on it. And then I just dump a can of the Rotel over top and it is delicious. Just slow simmer it for a little while. So good. You can also add this in with melted Velveeta and make a wonderful dip. The um, tomato sauces, Hunt's, name brand, Hunt's tomato sauce for a dollar or pasta sauce. And this is the traditional flavor. We buy this all the time. It is so good. It's Hunt's brand, name brand product, another name brand product. It's amazing when you start looking around at Dollar Tree and really pay attention to what they have on their shelves you will be surprised at how many name brand items they get in there. Yes, this might be two cents cheaper at Walmart, but like I said, I have to drive the whole way across town to get to Walmart. So I'm spending more in gas to get there. This works great for me. It's delicious. Let me see. I'm going to do this. These hash browns, these are probably in my top 10, maybe top 15 items at the Dollar Tree. We always have these on hand, especially now with the holidays coming. These are like the dehydrated hash browns. You just put hot water, you open up the container like you did back in the day, little milk boxes in school. You open up that side, you put in hot tap water, 
you let it set for I believe it's 12 minutes I've made these so many times but I believe it's 12 minutes and you just let it set and they rehydrate that I dump off I, I close the thing and kind of drain off any of the extra liquid that may be left over and you just use them as you would frozen hash browns or shredded potatoes same thing hubby makes an amazing um, breakfast casserole for Thanksgiving and then again for Christmas for us it's delicious and he uses these hash browns it's so good you just add in eggs to it whatever you may want cheese mushrooms green peppers bacon sausage whatever you have on hand whatever you're you like you dump it all together you spray your casserole dish put it in the oven for about an hour or so sprinkle some more cheese on top get it nice and brown and bubbly so delicious quick easy wonderful breakfast for for the holidays if you're having people over you can make it the night before so good so we always have these on hand and I believe you get what is it two and a half cups what does it say here you get five servings and they're a half a cup so you get about two and a half cups of hash browns so if you're making a pretty big casserole you may need two or three of these these boxes but it's they're delicious so delicious and another thing we do with the hash browns is we buy things like this and then put it over the hash browns quick easy meal another name brand Swanson's brand this is the chicken a la king made with white and dark chicken meat it is a 10.5 ounce and this is actually the the whole can is a serving one can of this me and hubby split it it's plenty splitting a can of this I remember having this back in school it was one of the lunches that they would have probably once a month when I was a kid and I used to love it my gram used to buy this exact same brand and they also had it even before in a can it was in a plastic pouch and you put the pouch in boiling water and just let it heat up in the boiling water for a few minutes and then you cut a hole in the pouch and put it over we'd always put it over toast just plain buttered toast put this over it quick delicious easy warm and filling meal so good this is the chicken a la king and right now they have the chicken and dumplings also the Swanson brand made with white and dark chicken and it also is a 10.5 ounce that's another thing that would be great over the hash browns fry up your hash browns get them nice and golden put a can of this over the top the chicken and dumplings or some of the chicken a la king quick easy warm meal for your family now you may have to double it if you have a larger family but for me and hubby this is more than enough for the two of us you know two dollars for a meal for the two of us that's amazing and it works well for us anything to save some money works well for us and another thing I, I wanted to show this with the rice and I forgot they always have the Minute Maid the quick rice that's another thing that you can do quickly and put something like this over top of it so good Minute Man Minute Man <laughs> Minute Rice just amazing delicious so now I think that is it for my Friday foods but I hope you stuck around. I wanted to show you, I made some of the pillows. This is the one with the placemats. This is the, the placemat that says Joy. And I used two. And I think I need to rip it apart and put some more filling in there. It's not quite, not quite puffy enough for me. But I love it. I love how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. Just get two of their, their placemats. This I hot glued. I just hot glued around the edges using the Dollar Tree hot glue gun glued around I did you know I put them together glued around the long then the short then the long left this side open stuffed it with my pillow stuffing and I just use an old bed pillow when my old bed pillows get done I put them in one of the vacuum seal bags from the Dollar Tree suck them flat keep them in a drawer and I save a couple just to use as pillow stuffing it is way cheaper doing it that way than going and buying the polyfill that it can be very expensive save your old pillows get some extra life out of them but I didn't fill it quite full enough so I'm gonna pull this apart and redo it after I get it stuffed I just put another seam of hot glue down pressed it together you can use a sewing machine if you want to get your sewing machine out you can hand stitch 
whatever, but a beautiful pillow for $2. And these snowflake, excuse me guys, I need to bend over. I made a couple from the snowflakes. This was two towels put together. That's how big that is. It is gigantic, nice size pillow. It's just two of the towels. These I did hand stitch one evening as we were watching football. I didn't feel like getting my glue gun out. I was nice and cozy in my chair. I just sat and hand stitched around the edges. Again, used another old bed pillow and then just stitched that side whenever I was done. But that is with two towels. This is with one. I just folded it in half, one towel, and made that size. So you can see the difference in size. I hope you can see that, I'm sorry guys. That pillow is gigantic, and this is the one that's just half. Well, it's one towel. This is two towels. I think they're beautiful. So this, the big one is gonna go on my couch. This little one is gonna go on one of the chairs in the living room. One, I have another one. I made, I made another one of the smaller ones, but I'm not gonna show it. I think it may go on the rocker that you guys have seen, that, that um, cranberry red rocker in my front, front hall. I think one will go on there. I just love them. They are so pretty. And then I'll probably do the same thing with these once the, the Christmas winter season is over. And these will be staying up through winter because I think they're more wintry than Christmas. So they're going to stay up. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll put them in one of the um, vacuum seal bags, suck them down nice and flat, and they won't take up a lot of room when I go to store them, you know, till next year. But I think they turned out beautiful. I absolutely love them. So those are the pillows I made, guys. So happy Friday. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. If you like this type of video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And before I end this video, I know I'm going to get asked about my sweater. This is a Shein sweater. And I don't know if you can, I did show it in another video. I didn't show it, but I was wearing it. This sweater, I'm sorry if I touched the mic, it is so pretty. It is laced down the sleeve and then it ties with a bow. The turtleneck, both sleeves have it. I love this sweater. I love Shein, guys. Shein is probably one of my top 10 things for the year 2021. I absolutely love Shein items. I wanted a, a solid white, not off-white, white turtleneck. And this one is just, it's fit the bill and it's longer it goes down over my belly almost down to the bottom of my my rump I love it and it's not super heavy that I'm gonna roast out somewhere it's just a nice weight it's not very see-through I do not have a cami or anything on under this I love it absolutely love it and of course my earrings are Shein too I'm loving Shein <laughs> I don't know what took me so long to order from there but I absolutely love it I think the only thing that I've ordered from Shein that I was disappointed with, and I kept it anyway, was a pair of jeans. And I take full blame for that because I didn't research it well enough when I ordered them. And they fit everywhere except at the waist. I can get them buttoned, but they are just so tight. So I'm hoping I lose a few more pounds and they end up fitting. But that's the only thing that I've been disappointed with. And it wasn't their fault. It's my fault. So... Check out Shein if you guys, if you haven't, but, you know, just check the, check the sizing on everything, read the reviews and, and you'll be fine. Didn't mean to make this into a Shein, a Shein video, but anyway, happy weekend, everyone. Happy Friday. And like I said, you know, subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. You mean the world to me and I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.